Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another, another unit highlight. And this time I'm going to be covering Alton. So Alton is another unit that I've been talking about, which is one of the rare units that you absolutely should use and level up. And I'm going to talk in more detail on how you can use him, how you build him, and how you can use him in different uh, fights. So let's first take a look at the unit itself, and then we'll talk, uh, take a look at the skills. Then we'll take a look at the the, um, artifacts that you should focus on. So Alton is considered to be a warlock, which means he's all about uh, you know casting spells and dealing something to the enemies. So if you take a look at his uh, special ability, Sapphire Trans, it first will have a 100% chance to inflict decreased defense on all the enemies, and it lasts for three turns. And then it then deals damage to all the enemies based on the max HP. Now, the way that you read these skills is it actually will take turns. So it first in inflicts a decreased defense, and then it deals the damage on top of that. So you're actually dealing more damage to all your enemies, which makes it a really great um, skill for wave fights. And... Um, Decreased defense is something that is used very often in a lot of different uh, scenarios. So I'm also going to showcase them uh, in, a, in a fight later on. And if we take a look at the uh, passive ability, the accuracy of Ultim will be increased by 5% for every 3200 health at uh, the highest level in the skill. So if you take a look at uh, what I have now, uh, my Ultim has three, uh, over 30,000 health. And so that comes out to just about a 47% additional accuracy. So because it's a passive ability, it doesn't show up here in the stats, but you can see the accuracy right now is at 54. So it's going to be 54 plus uh, 47 for a total of 101% uh, in accuracy. Now, I could actually go higher, so it depends on uh, the stats I'm using for my, uh, for my artifacts. So then it's also a good time to take a look at the artifacts. So you can see here, um, you know, I have here one set of caster and then two sets of life for Alton. Because what you really want to do is you want to make sure that, uh, number one, you get his mana gain to 25. He starts with 24 mana gain, and then, um, and then if you give him one set of caster, then you're going to get up to 25. So that means you only need to match four gems to, uh, to get his skills activated so it's really important to get the uh, mana gain then the second thing you want to do is you just want to increase his health as much as possible and so having life uh, set in here is going to be helpful and so if you take a look at mine uh, again uh, generally when i show artifacts uh, these are not the best ones yet and i'm con uh, i'm constantly looking to evolve but i'll just talk to you about sort of you know uh, ideas that you should focus on so uh, here you're going to see i'm i'm trying to focus um, you know, having sub stats and also main stats with health if possible. And so I'm using life set and you can see here I have one with the HP at 9% and then another one HP 388 here for the shield. And then for the glove, I, I didn't get one that has a uh, health by percentage. So I just went with one that was a flat increase. If I could get one that has a flat in, uh, percentage increase, then I'll be able to get even more health uh, for him as well. And then uh, here I have my armor at uh, level 15 uh, and, and it's at um, you know five stars and I have my HP at 50%. And so uh, also with my uh, caster set, I'm also looking to build up, you know, health if I can. So I'm putting in as much health as I could. Now, I don't have very good caster sets yet. That's something that I'm looking forward to improving on. But so, so what you can see here is I'm, in, I'm adding as much health as I can to Alton. Now let's take a look at uh, Alton in a fight. So I would say that Alton is probably one of the more versatile units in that you can bring him everywhere. Uh, he's going to be really tanky once you get his health up. And so he can be in any situation against almost any color, even if it's going up against green, although you'll probably have better options at that point. Uh, but he works really well, especially against red uh, units. So here we have, uh, we're trying this out in Tenebris, and we're going to be in health difficulty. We'll take on battle one. If you take a look at the formation, I'm also placing Alton further to the left. What you want to do is you generally want to have uh, your units that, you know, that deal area of effect damage off on the left side. And so Alton being on the left will cast his uh, decreased defense first, and then that will set up for all the other units to deal more damage to all, the, all of them as well. 
Okay, and so what I have here is I also just have a uh, a tank with me, and uh, I have Elias as another area of effect dealer, damage dealer, Varvin to heal, and then Xena is our single damage dealer, uh, which is going to be on the right side. So let's go into a fight, and we're going to do a manual fight just so I can show you what this is like. So uh, let's take a look at um, at the setup here. And so right now you see that um, we don't actually have a great uh, board for the blue gems, but that's okay because we do have some that are dropping. And so what we'll do here is um, we will uh, take a look now and we will be able to add, we will be able to get um, Alton's skill to be charged up, but we will not be able to activate just yet. So let's go ahead and just wait for a couple of turns uh, for the enemies to attack, and they're going to be attacking Emmett, uh, which is expected because um, he is the only unit that is not um, not blue. All right, so let's go ahead and now activate Alton. So you let's take a look and see how much damage he'll do. So you can see what he does is he first will uh, decrease damage uh, defense on all of them, and then he attacks. And so you can see how much damage he's able to deal there, um, you know, against the enemies at health difficulty. So it is a really strong, um, strong skill. And we're going to go ahead and use Elias. And what you can do is you can also slow them down, and um, we can then charge charge up Alton again for the next fight. Given that he has a you know 25 mana gain, it is pretty easy to get his um, to get his mana up and running. And so you just have to uh, do a couple of uh, blue gem matches, and then we'll go ahead and activate his skill. And you can see there he pretty much takes on the entire wave all on his own in Hell Difficulty Tenebris, which is the second last campaign. Right, so if you're farming for experience, uh, then he becomes really useful. You can really uh, use him to uh, to farm for um, for experience or to help uh, level up a unit, etc. He works really well in these situations. If you're looking to obtain Alton, it is pretty simple to do. You can farm him in Lorite Halls. You can obtain him either in um, normal Nightmare or Hell difficulty, but the best chances of obtaining him would be to do so in Nightmare or in Hell to maximize the chances of you obtaining him. You will find that at some point you're going to get multiple copies of Alton, and so you'll be able to use all of those copies of him to then... Uh, level up his skills i highly recommend that you take the opportunity to max out his skills and he is also uh, one of the first rare units that i plan to get to six stars because he definitely is worth doing so and so that's going to be it for my uh, video for today thanks a lot for watching guys let me know in the comment below what you think about the content here and also what units you like to see most i do plan to go through most of the rare units first and i'm going to move my way up to epics and also legendaries where i can talk about how you can use those units and optimize their setup so that's going to be it for me for today thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time take care bye now